Hi, welcome to another episode of Office Arcade. Uh, today's topic is going to be dragon punches. So dragon punches tend to be a move that's that's difficult for a lot of people to consistently execute, um, especially uh, players that are newer to Capcom fighting games. And the dragon punch input has kind of evolved from the like Street Fighter 2 days up through the Street Fighter 5 days. What I've been working on is a technique that can consistently get me dragon punch without accidental punches, kicks, and fireballs, and without accidental supers in Street Fighter 2, where the input is consistent between Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5, which is both versions of Street Fighter that I play. Um, so we're going to kind of do a little deep dive on the Dragon Punch, the Dragon Punch motion, and then I'll show you guys uh, kind of the motion I came up with that consistently works for me. So to start, uh, you know, the, the typical diagram for a Dragon Punch is this Z motion, uh, or what you saw in my shirt, which is uh, forward, and then down, and then down forward. And then, you know, plus punch. So, so it's always plus a punch button. So these are the standard, the standard motions for, for uh, dragon punch. And I don't know if you guys have tried this, but the Z motion is kind of awkward, right? You, you, you kind of have this point of failure here where if you overextend to back, you ruin your DP motion. Uh, and generally, just getting whatever this jiggle is right uh, has been really inconsistent for me. So what this motion has evolved into for a lot of people, uh, and I mean, this is kind of this motion broken down, right? You have your forward, and then you move down to down middle, down neutral, and then you push to down forward. So this is essentially a broken down version of, of that move. But what has happened over time is the move has kind of evolved into uh, two quarter circle forwards. So you do a quarter circle forward, go back to neutral, do another quarter circle forward. The problem with this, uh, this motion is it's really slow. Like if you see people kind of crouching and it looks like they're teabagging a little bit, it's usually because they're trying to buffer a double quarter circle. So it's a really obvious tell. And because inputting this motion is a little bit slower, it's a it's it's tough to react as quickly to jump ins and your uh, dragon punch is one of your best anti air tools. So having your anti air tool be slow is never a good thing. So now with the uh, double quarter circle forward, there's a couple problems with this movement as well um, that you you consistently see from your players, and that's they will accidentally throw out fireballs. So if they miss a quarter circle but register one quarter circle, they're going to throw a fireball. Uh, and a lot of other times, if they overextend that uh, quarter circle uh, into an up motion, they're going to jump. Um, so you consistently see this be a missed input among uh, newer players as well, uh, mainly because that qu uh, quarter circle motion is, is pretty error prone, especially on, on an arcade stick. And here's where it gets weird now. So this is kind of like Street Fighter 2, we'll call it, right? So, so older uh, dragon punches. Uh, and then what happened in Street Fighter V is they simplified the dragon punch motion. So a couple new inputs that have gotten popular is down forward, back to neutral, down forward, right? So you just do down forward, down forward. But the problem is if you get a unintentional forward or down in there, uh, you're going to miss your DP. So, so this one's also really inconsistent, but it's really fast. So that's what was really, really uh, uh, interesting to me there. And, and this one kind of works in Street Fighter 2, but it's really, really hard to get. Uh, I, I very rarely get it. And then the, the other one that was interesting is if you go down forward and then down neutral and then back to down forward, you will get a DP. This will only work in newer iterations of Street Fighter, though. This works in Street Fighter 5, right? So th that will not work for you in Street Fighter 2. So yeah, basically I was trying to figure out how I could create a motion that works in Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5, has the speed of these Street Fighter 5 inputs, but the consistency, even though this isn't perfectly consistent, the consistency of double quarter circle forward. So through trial and error, what I actually found is if you do uh, so like, let's, let's, you know, uh, we'll draw a joystick here real quick, right? So here's our joystick. We got up, down, 
left, right. And we have our diagonals there. I found that if you go between forward and down forward, and then push down to down forward, let the stick ride, you know, back to neutral, and then push into this area again and push down into the corner, that that will get you a dragon punch. Uh, which the reason that is so awesome is you're kind of doing the double quarter circle motion, but in the opposite direction. And that will prevent you from doing accidental fireballs. It'll prevent you from accidentally jumping. Um, so in terms of consistency and making sure you only get a dragon punch, that motion is unique enough that you will get that dragon punch. The nice thing was after I practiced it a little bit is it was way more consistent than these kind of quick to the corner approaches. So really what the motion looks like is it's kind of between forward and down forward and then down into the corner, right? And I'm on a square gate, so, so that's kind of why it looks like this. So I'll make that a little more diagonal. And then down into the corner. And then I let the stick return to neutral a little bit and do the same thing, push between forward and down forward and then finish the motion and down forward. Um, so it's almost kind of like a reverse quarter circle um, and it, th this does get me, uh, DPs every time. And as I've gotten better at it, it's kind of evolved, uh, into, uh, a push down into that weird spot between, you know, forward and down forward. And then it's more of a jiggle now. So I go down, jiggle up a little bit, jiggle down, and I'm talking very slight motion. So I'm trying to illustrate that. By, you know, instead of having these big arrows here, just showing these kind of like tiny arrows at the end of the core motion. So I do forward into that weird position between forward and down forward and a little jiggle and that gets me my DP. So it's actually super fast uh, and, and super consistent. And the last cool benefit I noticed is if you're doing a neutral bot block or if you're doing a down back block, right? Transitioning into double quarter circle forwards tricky. Uh, transitioning into, uh, you know, neutral down forward from a, uh, a crouch block is very tricky. But here, again, because it's just one sweeping motion to that position, you can actually go from crouch block all the way back up to neutral and forward and do your little jiggle here, <laughs> whatever you want to call that, uh, and, and that'll get you a DP too. And this works in Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5. So you can get DPs out really quickly uh, on reaction and you can transition out of crouch block uh, very easily. Um, so I'll show you guys this in action uh, and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing with the joystick. Uh, but I just wanted to show you with these arrow motions kind of how the Street Fighter 2 DP and Street Fighter 5 DP kind of combined to create this like jiggle DP, like reverse reverse uh, quarter circle jiggle DP. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you guys can see this okay, um, but we're kinda gonna go through the different motions here. So first we have that Z motion or that arrow motion where it goes forward, down, down forward, and you finish in the down forward motion, okay? And as you can see, there's just a lot of execution error there, right? Like you can go too far back, I mean, in the heat of the moment, you might try to go down down uh, neutral and not even register the down neutral and just finish kind of in, in down forward. Uh, so this evolved into the very popular double quarter circle forward, right? But the problem is this is kind of slow. Like even if you do it really fast, and I'm holding a little bit weird for you guys, but so, you know, if I do that, like it, it's still a relatively slow motion uh, and you can see your character kind of teabagging, like you're actually seeing that extra crouch, which is, you know, time wasted from getting the move out. Like you don't, you don't need to be seeing that extra crouch. Um, but that is popular. That is an easier way for folks to kind of start doing DPs because they're familiar with quarter circle forward. So nothing wrong with that. Um, it's perfectly fine. Uh, but again, I was trying to optimize for, Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5 with the benefits of those new uh, kind of quick uh, inputs in Street Fighter 5, which uh, those ones look like this. So you can just do twice into the corner, 
down forward, and that'll get you a DP in Street Fighter V. Uh, but again, it's, it's kind of inconsistent because if you push forward by accident, uh, you push, you know, you push down by accident and you don't make that, uh, that, that good connect with down forward, uh, you won't get it. And another really consistent one that's pretty easy to execute is being in down forward, going to neutral middle and back to down forward. That's a really easy, quick way to get a, a DP if you only care about Street Fighter V. So how that has now evolved um, to kind of give me the benefits of that fast dragon punch uh, with that consistent execution from from uh, Street Fighter V, where I don't have to do this quarter circle forward where I might accidentally get a fireball, uh, is it's evolved to push to that position between forward and down forward, so I'm between them, right? And then do a quick jiggle, right? So, so when I do it, let me see here with my arm extended, how it, how it looks, it's, that's it. And then you finish in down forward and that's what gets you your DP. So you go, right? And when you get that, that finish your jiggle, that's going to be your DP. I'm sorry to call it a jiggle. I know that sounds lame, but I mean, that's kind of what it is. It's, you know, into that spot between forward and down forward with this little jiggle, just that little bit of room that you have to get to down forward. And that's kind of you buffering your DP and then you hit your punch button and your DP comes out. So again, the, the kind of the fast version is, and that's it. And then my DP is coming out. And the nice thing is, again, if you're in crouch block, you just, that's it. You just go back into that position here and do your jiggle and your DP comes out. All right, so I'm gonna demo that a little bit in Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5 real quick. Uh, but one thing worth mentioning is it does work in the reverse direction on a fight stick, because I know some folks like double quarter circle as well, because you can kind of do it consistent backwards. But here, again, you just pull the stick into that same position between forward and down forward, and you do a little jiggle here to buffer that DP. Um, looks a little bit funny now that I'm recording it, um, but uh, but that will also get you DP in the other direction. Um, so you just you know get get that jiggle going and finish and down forward, and your DP will come out. And again, since you're not doing any quarter quarter circle circle forward motion, you don't have to worry about throwing those accidental fireballs. Uh, so here's me trying to do the Z motion. But you can see, like, it's I am prone to throwing out those accidental punches there. And then I'm going to do the double quarter circle forward. Which, once you've practiced this, it's very consistent, but it's slow. You see, I get that whole extra crouch in there that just isn't necessary. And then if I want to do it out of a crouch block, you know, you can, it's, I'll do the accidental jump quite frequently. And then it's just getting that, that double quarter circle forward to register is really tricky. So you just saw that accidental combo there. I actually got an extra punch in while trying to buffer my DP with double quarter circle forward. And then the DP came out. And now this is the new approach. Super consistent and super fast. You don't really see that crouch. You get one crouch, sometimes the tiniest bit of teabag motion in there. Yeah, it just looks like he's going right into that DP animation. And you can see out of crouch block, very easy. I couldn't get it with... Uh, with the uh, double quarter circle forward, I accidentally jumped, accidentally punched, and then did the combo. But you know, there you saw that I was very easily able to transition out of uh, crouch block into DP. And then going in the other direction, same thing. I'm gonna move the joystick. Well, we, we can go through all the motions again. So here's the Z motion in reverse, which I'm really bad at in this direction. Uh, and then we've got double quarter circle forward. Oh, and I am really not intentionally throwing those fireballs. And then we've got the new technique. So 
So super consistent, no accidental fireballs, no accidental punches. And again, it's really fast. Like you don't see that, you know, kind of multiple crouch motion. You just see that DP come out right away. And again, the crouch block is easy in this direction. Yeah, so here in Street Fighter V, we can see that this motion works just fine. And then going in the other direction. And then from crouch block. So it's a super easy, super fast motion uh, that is actually backwards compatible with Street Fighter 2. So even though I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter 5 and I started out with some of those lazy DPs, once I discovered this motion, it actually made me better and more consistent in Street Fighter 2. So yeah, when you're first learning Dragon Punch, it can feel like a very overwhelming uh, motion, and there's so many variants to it as you saw on the dry erase board. So my first recommendation is if you're new to Street Fighter, try all the different motions. Try the Z, uh, try double quarter circle forward, try you know down, down forward, down forward. Uh, try some of those zigzag motions in Street Fighter V if you only care about Street Fighter V uh, and see what works for you. Uh, but if you're like me and you want to have a consistent, fast dragon punch that you can get out from uh, a crouch block uh, and you want it to work in Street Fighter II and Street Fighter V, I'd suggest trying this uh, crazy new little uh, jiggle motion uh, and you know maybe, maybe you'll find that it suits your hand well. Um, so hopefully this kind of deep dive on Dragon Punch and the different kinds of Dragon Punch motions uh, and some of the variations between Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5 was uh, a little bit in uh, interesting and helpful. Uh, and, you know, if you guys have any other suggestions or any other motions that I didn't cover that work for you, uh, feel free to add those in the uh, comments.